Love, blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pam Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. We're trying something new today. I'm using my tablet. I said, I wonder what would happen. And it looks like it's much bigger. It's much clearer. So, um, hold on, husband at the door. Okay, we're back because we had a question. All right, so we're going to try to do this from my tablet. It looks so big and nice, and I might start just using the tablet. All right, reading from the King James Version of the Word of God. We're reading from 1 Samuel, the 28th chapter, verses 21. Okay, I'll get my time up here. Yeah, I like this here big old tablet thing. I can see so much better. And it reads, And the woman came unto Saul, and saw that he was sore troubled. And said unto him, Behold, thine handmaid hath obeyed thy voice, and I have put my life in my hand, and have hearkened unto thy words which thou spakest unto me. Now therefore, I pray thee, hearken thou also unto the voice of thine handmaid, and let me set a morsel of bread before thee, and eat, that thou mayest have strength when thou goest on thy way. But he refused, and said, I will not eat. But his servants, uh uh-oh. But his servants together with the woman compelled him, and he hearkened unto their voice. So he arose from the earth and sat upon the bed. And the woman had a fat calf in the house, and she hasted and killed it and took flour and kneaded it and did bake unleavened bread thereof. And she brought it before Saul and before his servants, and they did eat. Then they rose up and went away that night. Chapter 29. Now the Philistines gathered together all the armies to Aphek, and the Israelites pitched by a fountain which is in Jerel, Jezreel. And the lords of the Philistines passed on by hundreds and by thousands, but David and his men passed on in the reward with Achish. Then said the princes of the Philistines, What do these Hebrews hear? And Achish said unto the princes of the Philistines, Is not this David the servant of Saul, the king of Israel, which hath been with me these days or three or these years, and I have found no fault in him since he fell unto me unto this day. And the princes of the Philistines were wroth with him. And the princes of the Philistines said unto him, Make this fellow return, that he may go up, that he may go again to his place, which thou hast appointed him, and let him not go down with us to battle. Least in the battle he be an adversary to us. For wherewith should he reconcile himself unto his master? Should it not be with the heads of these people? Is not this David of whom they sang one to another in dances, saying, Saul slew his thousand, and David his ten thousand? And Achish called David and said unto him, Surely as the Lord liveth, thou hast been upright, and thy going out, and thy coming in with me, and the host is good in my sight. But I have not found evil. I have not found evil in thee. Trying to turn the page. In thee, in thee since the day of thy coming unto me, unto this day. Nevertheless, the Lord favor thee not. The Lord's favor thee not. Wherefore now return and go in peace, that thou despise not the lords of the Philistines. And David said unto Ashes, But what have I done? And what hast thou found in thy servant so long as I have been with thee unto this day, that I may not go fight against the enemies of my lord the king? And Achish answered and said to David, I know that thou art good in my sight as an angel of God. Notwithstanding, the princes of the Philistines have said, he shall not go up with us to battle. Wherefore now, rise up early in the morning with thy master's servants that are come with thee, and as ye and as ye be up early in the morning and have light depart. So David and his men rose up early to depart in the morning to return into the land of the Philistines. And the Philistines went up to Jezreel. Chapter thirty. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziglag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziglag and smitten Ziglag and burned it with fire and had taken the women captives that were therein. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away. 
and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burnt with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lift up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captives, Ahinoam and Jezreelitess, and of Abigail, the wife of Nabal the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Ab Abiathar the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither in the ephod. And Abiathar brought hither thither the ephod to David. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them. And without fail, hallelujah, recover all, recover all. So David went, he and the 600 men that were with him, and came to the brook. Be sure, where those that were left behind stayed. But David pursued, he and 400 men, 200 abode behind, which were so faint that they could not go over the brook Besor. And they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David and gave him bread and he did eat and they made him drink water. And they gave him a piece of a cake of figs and two clusters of raisins. And when he had eaten, his spirit came again to him, for he had eaten no bread nor drank any water three days and three nights. And David said unto him, To whom belongest thou, and whence art thou? And he said, I am a young man of Egypt, servant to an Amalekite. My master left me because three days ago, three days agone, I fell sick. We made an invasion upon the south of Cherilethites, and upon the coast which belongeth to Judah, and upon the south of Caleb, and we burned Ziklag with fire. And David said to him, Cast, Canst thou bring me down to this company? And he said, Swear unto me by God that thou will neither kill me nor deliver me into the hands of my master, and I will bring thee down to this company. And when they had brought him down, behold, they were spread abroad upon all the earth, eating and a drinking and a dancing because of all the great spoil that they had taken out of the land of the Philistines. And out of the land of Judah. Well, this is good. It's awkward holding this big old tablet. But it reads, I can see so much better. It's everything in the right chair. All righty. So we want to say thank God for the you, the hearer, and me, the reader of this precious and sacred word of God. That will take us to 1 Samuel, the 30th chapter, the 17th verses. Again, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club for your continued donation of $20 to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, dollar sign Mama Pam 23. We are Smurf, the fastest growing ministry on the internet that I know. Seven minute read families, seven minute read followers. Yes, seven minute read faithful folk. We do broadcasts across 22 plus social media sites. We broadcast Pacific Standard Time Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Remember, Jesus loves you. And yes, you, I do. I love you too. Oh, praise God. We live by faith and not in fear. Until the next broadcast, God bless.